For anyone who is not familiar with the wildly popular film and book titled The Secret by Rhonda Byrne, it's based on the idea that ancient wisdom is passed down through the ages in our DNA, that we have the power within us to create ultimate joy, health and wealth if we so choose. But this is not a new idea. Thought leaders and scientists from around the world have been telling us centuries that everything we have ever wanted is there for us, we have only to engage the power of natural laws. And this is the real life magic within each of us. It requires only imagination and using the power of your thoughts, something we already have in abundance. But first, we must know and understand how to live, how to use our thoughts to successfully draw what we desire most. The life journey you're on is as fluid as thought itself, constantly changing from moment to moment. The only way to create a new future, a future of your choosing, is to transcend your current thought patterns and your old world views and replace them with new ones. Understanding how the universe works is the first step to moving your life to that of being a creator of your own destiny where success can be anything you can envision. So what is the law of attraction? The law of attraction states that you attract to you and are attracted to what you think about, but too often, thoughts are negatively influenced by past experiences and learned behaviors. For example, if you were bitten by a dog as a child, you might be afraid of dogs, although not all dogs are going to bite you. You just think they are, so you show fear in the face of all dogs and this becomes your reality. Your fear and past experience make you believe that dogs will bite you. Another example, and one which many people can relate to, is the lack of, or need for money. If you grew up in a home where your father had to work three jobs to feed the family and pay the bills, all you know is lack and you will have developed a lack mentality. If you then go to college trying to better your lot in life and are stuck with student loans, go to work and get an hourly wage, never seem to have enough to buy anything but what's necessary, and have no savings, you believe that this is the way life is, you believe that you will never have enough even though you want more money. You haven't learned how to get it. Working more is not always the answer. The law of attraction states that what you think about, you attract. What you think about, persists. So your deep-rooted belief in working harder to make more money and still never having enough is your reality. Unless and until you change that, you will never have enough. But how do you change it? Thoughts manifest your reality, the whole idea that thoughts become things is the cornerstone of every natural law. Thoughts have energy and therefore power and this is the key to unlocking the magic behind the desired manifestation. Thoughts are the precursors to words and when added with those words, their power is multiplied or reinforced. Once you learn to recognize intuitively those moments, those thoughts, that can change your life, you'll be able to use them to your advantage. Here's an example as told through a Native American story. It illustrates simply and perfectly how what you think about most becomes your reality. A young boy sat listening to a story being told by his grandfather about two wolves inside each of us who are constantly fighting for domination. They will tear at each other until the one is defeated and the other prevails. But how will I know which one will prevail, the boy asked. The old man replied, it will be the one that you feed. So you can choose to do nothing and let the chips fall where they may, letting the wolves decide the direction of your life, or you can feed the wolf of your choice and decide to make decisions that move you in the direction that will lead you to the abundance you want. And it all begins with how you think, about your world and about yourself. When you embrace the idea that each of us is in control of his own destiny, the possibilities for you will be endless. You can strip away preconceived ideas and conditioned thinking and allow yourself access to your own power to create a life with purpose, no matter where you are right now, no matter at what point you see yourself. Your own thoughts are almost always your obstacle, which means the obstacle is you. Despite high motivations, most people still find themselves struggling to succeed, to reach a new plateau or even to maintain their drive. So why is it that some reach their goals easily and others fail? Successful people apply intention to their manifestation, the reason you struggle to carry efforts or ideas to completion is that you're trying to live out a resolution using the tools previously acquired by and stored within, imprinted on, your brain. This is the reason you struggle, but it will eventually be the reason you succeed. What does that mean? Aren't they the same thing? You've resolved to do something so you must intend to do it, right? Much of what we see is simply the product of someone's imagination, of how some individuals viewed the world and of what they thought the world needed. They were powerful, persuasive and capable of making the civilized world happen, working it to their benefit or in the case of an altruistic endeavor, to the benefit of the community at large. They envisioned a world or some part of it the way they wanted it to be. 
they saw it, they felt it, they lived and breathed it in their minds and they made it happen. So how you view the world, this world, your world, depends a great deal on your subjective mind and your experiential soul. Put another way, what you see is almost always what you get. In concentrating on your objective, the secret is to bring it here. You must make elsewhere, here, and then imagine that your objective is so close that you can feel it. Neville Goddard. Chances are you've already tried to reach your goal, maybe more than once, and you didn't see results. Perhaps you did see some results only to have them fall away as quickly as they appeared. If what you want for yourself is vastly different than what you're getting, it's because your resolutions, the way you live your life, what you expect, and what you receive, are all based on what you know, what the existing imprints on your brain are telling you. Look back on your life and understand that everyone was doing the best they knew how. Maybe what you saw as a personal insult or injury back then was really just a hurting person taking something out on you. But you took it to heart and allowed it to make you feel small for the rest of your life. Change what you know and what you believe and the universe will fall into step with you.